This is one of the most insane stories I've seen out of the Toronto Raptors in a long time. As Adrian Wojnarowski broke that Jonte Porter, a new acquisition for the Toronto Raptors midway through this year, a guy that the Raptors took a chance on. The organization gave him a shot after a ton of injuries, after a lot of hard work to get back in the NBA, had a really awesome story going. Because frankly, he was earning himself a roster spot. He was earning himself a contract for next season. And... He just decided to throw it all away, I guess, potentially, allegedly, if all this stuff from the reports ends up being accurate. Again, that's something you do have to take with a grain of salt. But if true, if this report from Adrian Wojnarowski, if this bomb from Adrian Wojnarowski is true, this man threw away potentially his entire NBA career for a few extra bucks on DraftKings or something? This is absolutely insane. So we're going to break down this story about Jonte Porter betting on himself, but betting the under, what it means for his NBA career in the Toronto Raptors, and just the bad craziness of this report. But before we dive into that, folks, again, over 55% of our viewers are not subscribed to the channel, and we want to keep you up to date with all of the latest Toronto Raptors news. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can keep you up to date with all of the madness that goes around this Toronto Raptors team, and it continues to get weirder, continues to get crazier, because John Tate Porter, as I mentioned, had a really cool story going for him, had a lot of people rooting for this man, but as said, Adrian Wojnarowski came out and <laughs> dropped a crazy story. This man took Fred Van Vliet's betting advice, bet on yourself, and took it the wrong way. Basically, the full story in the NBA investigation to prop betting irregularities around Raptors' Jonte Porter has been released. So basically, this is the full article from Adrian Wojnarowski, or the most of the snippets from the article. In the game on January 26th against the LA Clippers, there was increased betting interest on the under for Jonte Porter's prop bets, which... For the night, we're set at 5.5 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 1.5 assists. And to sort of translate that, because, again, I don't know much about sports betting. I read into this stuff. If you're not into sports betting, don't get into it. You lose money onto it. But, you know, not to roast people that are into it. But basically... The odds, you could bet on whether or not Jonte Porter would score over 5.5 points. You could bet whether or not he would get over 4.5 rebounds. And you could bet whether or not he would get over or under 1.5 assists. So you could bet the over or you could bet the under. So there was also an over-under on Jonte Porter making three-pointers, which is over 0.5. So if he made a three-pointer and you bet over, you'd make some money. If you bet under and he didn't make any threes, you'd make some money there. So that's what the sports books, that's what uh, these sort of bookies were thrown out there for Jonte Porter's stats and then basically that night Porter played just four minutes before leaving the game due to what the Raptors said was a re-aggravation of an eye injury he suffered days earlier in the game against the Memphis Grizzlies he did not score in that game against the Clippers he had three rebounds and one assist and did not attempt a three meaning he hit the under on all of those props so the people that were betting under on Jonte Porter for those stats they ended up making money. They made a ton of money, right? So basically the report goes on to say that the next day, the daily report or uh, the daily report for users betting on uh, results on DraftKings Sportsbook reported that the under on Jonte Porter's three-pointers was the biggest money winner for bettors of any NBA props from games that evening. Porter played 14, 19 minutes two days later and scored 12 points, seven rebounds, and three assists. So the article goes on to say that on March 20th, in a game against the Phoenix Suns, Porter played just three minutes before leaving the game due to what the Raptors said was an illness and did not return. He did not score, he attempted and missed one shot, and had two rebounds. The sportsbook had his over-under set at 7.5 points and 5.5 rebounds. The next day, DraftKings Sportsbooks reported to its users that Porter's prop bets were were the number one money maker from the night in the NBA. Porter, the brother of Denver Nuggets, Michael Porter Jr., is on a two-way contract, earning about $415,000 this season. And frankly, was probably going to get a full-out NBA contract next year, making a heck ton more money. So basically what he was doing, you know, the bet on yourself stuff. Every Raptors fans heard that about Fred Van Vliet and all that. He took that, but instead of betting, you know, that he'd be able to do it, he bet that he wouldn't be able to do it. He wouldn't be able to put up those stats and made some money, or at least allegedly someone was betting with this knowledge, with this information that Jonte Porter wasn't going to hit those numbers on his over-unders in terms of stats. And then he just straight up leave the game, you know, with some injuries. Again, an eye injury, it's easy to kind of fake. An illness, it's easy to probably fake. And he allegedly left the games in terms of, you know, 
so someone can make money on DraftKings. That is ridiculous. If this is true, again, I'm going to keep saying that because maybe this is a irregularity or it doesn't look like it, but maybe in a world that this is, that is shocking. That is absolutely bananas. That a guy fighting for his NBA career, a guy that's young, has the opportunity, is playing well. Things are working out. You also have a brother on a max contract. So your family's loaded in dough. You're getting a $450,000. You know, in the NBA here right now, you're putting up solid stats. I mean, 6'11", 4.4 points. Again, not crazy sort of numbers, but he was doing some good things when he's actually getting opportunities. A lot of Raptors fans like this guy in terms of his ability to get some run. And then you're risking it all. You're you're throwing it all out there. Because if this gets picked up and he's purposely, you know, exiting games in order to not hit that over under stats in terms of his stat lines and stuff, if he's leaving games because of this, that's, he's gone. Like, he's gone from this Raptors team, and it's not like he's Shohei Otani or someone like that where, you know, you can blame it on an interpreter and then and sort of get away with it scot-free or whatever the heck is going to happen to him, right? John Tay Porter is a fringe NBA player. He could work his way up. You know, he could be a solid role player, I think, at some point in his career if things went the right way, he stayed healthy and stuff. But right now, he's a guy that's on a two-way contract. He is not in the position to be just dangling around his career with, you know, risking sports betting on DraftKings and, you know, selling games, leaving games midway through to sort of just make a few extra bucks on the side or get his fam to make a few extra bucks. I don't know what on earth this man was thinking. That is some of the dumbest, if this is true, that is some of the dumbest sort of logic I have ever seen and probably indicates that there's more of this stuff actually going on. Again, the, the sports betting space is just getting absolutely crazy. You know, I I learned a lot more about it over the past year. We had a couple betting sponsorships a couple years ago or early last year. I don't even know. We're not having any more of those in the future. But holy smokes, like after learning more about it and just how it's all messed up. And it's affecting the game. Like we're seeing Tyrese Halliburton. We're seeing coaches. You know, I forget which coach came out and said it, that there's death threats getting thrown their way because of these prop bets and everything that's going on. People trying to make money. And I don't know, man. That is, this story about John T. Porter specifically is bananas. It is absolutely crazy. So we'll see what comes of it. Again, hopefully it's not. Hopefully there's an exclamation because, again, John T. Porter was becoming a, a favorite amongst fans. He's a guy that could potentially make this team in the future. You know, one of those sort of acquisitions we made midway through this year to potentially make this team. But it seems like the cycle of these players is going to continue. It seems like John T. Porter is not going to, you know, it's the reason he's probably away due to personal reasons. I think that's the reason they gave, you know, him not being in this game and stuff like that. This is clearly the reason why he's not playing. The Raptors have to investigate whether or not there's a guy on their team. You know, we're all joking about the tank and this team team you know throwing games because they want the better draft pick but i mean like the players are trying hard at least we just injured it's just kind of how our roster looks this man is legitimately leaving his job which i know four hundred fifteen thousand doesn't sound a lot compared to you know uh, bruce brown making 28 million or whatever the heck he's making right but four hundred fifteen thousand dollars you're making a bunch of money and you're just kind of leaving to make a few extra bucks on DraftKings or something crazy absolutely madness for me i know the game's on too the raptors nets but i saw this i was out working at a starbucks i had to come home and record give my reaction to this we'll see if i do a, i might drop the nets reaction in the in the morning we'll see how this schedule all this but i wanted to get this out as soon as possible but you guys are best like this far subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already that is uh bananas cheers